Hello everyone, Hannah here today, and I am back with what is going to be the start of a new series on this channel. So a while back, I posted a video called Beginner's Guide to K-Pop, and a lot of people really liked it. I got a lot of good responses on it, lots of thumbs up. So I decided to start a series where I do Beginner's Guide to and then specific K-Pop groups. So not just the K-Pop fandom overall, but specific groups. So that is what I am starting off today. And if you haven't seen my Beginner's Guide to K-Pop video yet and you're new in the K-Pop fandom, I would recommend you go do that just because it has some terminology and concepts that I'll be using in this video that will probably make more sense if you watch that one before you watch this one. The group I am doing today is BTS per request. So let's get started. Gotta have my fancy smancy notes that I have here because I did my research. So BTS is a boy group that comes from Big Hit Entertainment. They debuted on June 13th of 2013 and they have a couple aliases. BTS is usually what they're referred to just because it's shortest, but they can also be known as Bang Ten Boys, Bulletproof Boy Scouts, or their Korean name which is Bang Ten Son Yandan. That's like the Hangul of BTS. Their fandom name is known as the ARMY, which stands for Adorable Representative MC for Youth. I don't know why, but that's just what it is. And I don't know if they have any like official fandom colors, but like the majority of BTS merch is black and white, along with their light stick. Their light stick is also black and white, so I can just assume that a Black is probably their fandom color. Another thing that's really interesting about the BTS fandom is that BTS is a group from a smaller company and they're not really popular in Korea so much is what I've heard, but they have a huge international following. So that's why a lot of times if you watch their videos, um, some of the members will say things in English or say things that say thank you to international fans, which is not something that you hear a ton of K-pop groups do, and that's mostly because like 99% of their fandom is international. They have just taken over internationally, but they just haven't seemed to be as popular in Korea, which is really interesting. They are a hip-hop group. They're very hip-hop centered, and they have quite a few members that do rapping, and a lot of their music and albums have kind of a youth concept, like whether that be about school, for example, their first three albums are what's known as the school trilogy so you have to do a little bit with school and then their two newest albums the most beautiful moment in life they talk a lot about youth and like being young so they're they're a group that obviously has found a lot of popularity with like teens and stuff like that so now we're going to go to each of the individual members and i'm going to tell you a little bit about all of them going from oldest to youngest so the first member we have, and my personal bias, is Jin. Jin's real name is Kim Sook Jin, but he is also known as like Princess or Pink Princess or Llama, apparently because he kind of looks like a llama, which, you know, I can't deny that. But he's also known as like Pink Princess just because his favorite color is pink. And his birthday is December 4th, 1992, which is actually my birth date as well. Not 1992, but... 1998. So he's a few years older than me, but we do share the same birthday, so that's a fun little tidbit. He is a sub-vocalist and the visual of the group. He also has a Mario obsession, like he has just so much Mario stuff and like fans always give him like Mario plushies and stuff. It's super adorable. And like I said, his favorite color is pink and he's kind of known as like the group mom. He cooks a lot for the other members, and since he's kind of the oldest, he kind of takes care of the rest of the members, and it's just super adorable. Also, he has this little um, segment thing that he does on their YouTube channel called Eat Jin, where he just films himself eating food, and it's super adorable and cute, and I always want to eat, like, rice and noodles after I finish watching it. The next member is Suga. It's spelled S-U-G-A, so, like, without the last letter on it. I think it has something to do with basketball is what I've heard his name comes from, a position in basketball. I'm not really a basketball person, so I don't know what that is, but if you are, you might know what that means. And his real name is Min Yonggi, and he's that one member of the group that is sleeping like 90% of the time. Like if you're watching a BTS video and there's some random member off in the corner sleeping, it's probably Suga. He is the rapper of the group and also uses the word swag a lot. 
So a lot of sugar related stuff seems to have the word swag in it. Also, there's this really funny inside joke in the fandom. I can't remember which interview it is specifically, but there's one, um, and it's like Rat Monster and Jungkook and Sugar talking about something. And Sugar, they're talking about something that inspires them. And Sugar, instead of saying inspire, says in fires. In fires, man. So that if you see armies being like in fires, man, it's not a typo. It's there's a reason. It it's it's just sugar. Also, his birthday is March 9th, 1993, if I forgot to mention that. The next member is J Hope, and his real name is Jung Ho Sook. His birthday is February 18th, 1994, and he is the dancer of the group. He also does a bit of rapping as well, but he is a really good dancer, and he's, like, considered the hope of the group, so he's one of the most lively members, and he's just basically a precious cinnamon roll and should be protected at all costs. There was this really sad thing going on Twitter a while back where people wanted to kick J-Hope out of BTS because apparently he was ugly. It's like, I don't know what planet this is ugly on but not not in my book and yeah and so then army started trending j-hope we love you or something like that and cleared that whole thing up because like honestly that's so stupid like j-hope is precious and beautiful and he's just j-hope is that one member that when he cries you cry because there's one video where they throw a surprise party for his birthday and they show videos that the members made, but then they show videos of his parents talking to him, and he just starts bawling, and it's like, I can't watch that video. It's so sad, and it's, oh, J-Hope. He's just a precious cinnamon roll. Like, that's, that's all you need to know. The next member is Rap Monster. His real name is Kim Namjoon, and he's also known as Rapmon for short, just because Rap Monster is a bit of a mouthful, and also Brainmon. Um... And I will get to why that is in just a moment. His birthday is September 12th, 1994. And he is the main rapper and also the leader of BTS. So the reason Rap Monster is called Brain Mon is because he's ridiculously smart. He has an IQ of like 148 or something like that. And he taught himself English. So like all the English that he uses, he is the most fluent out of everyone in this group. All the English he taught himself which is just really impressive because I can't, I, I have a hard time teaching myself stuff. Like, I'm really good at learning things, but when it comes to teaching myself, like, it's really hard to do. So, like, props to Ratmon for being able to teach himself English, which makes pretty much zero sense because it's basically a giant melting pot of, like, every language ever. He has his own mixtape that he has dropped out called RM, and you can find links to download it online. You don't actually have to buy it because it's a mixtape. It is very, very good. He's also, Rat Monster is also very clumsy and has the habit of breaking objects that he touches. So as long as you keep your valuables away from him, things will go great. The next member is Jimin, also known as Chim Chim. And his real name is Park Jimin and his birthday is October 13th, 1995. He is a vocalist in the group, but also a dancer. And he is that one member of the group that, like, always lifts his shirt up during choreography. Because, like, when he wants abs, he can he can have some really nice abs. And uh, there's also another inside joke surrounding Jimin that was in the video when BTS was going to LA. They decided they were going to do a little thing where they spoke English while they were on the plane. And there's one comment that Rap Monster made. Jimin, yeah. you got no jams. And so that's kind of like the biggest joke in the BTS fandom because I think jams is kind of like a slang word for fun in Korean or he, well, I don't know if it's slang or if Ratmon just kind of made it up, but it's based off of the Korean word for fun. And so basically Jimin is no fun. Jimin has no jams and that's like the greatest insult you can ever say if you're in the BTS fandom. He's also the last member to officially join BTS. And he's kind of the group bias wrecker. Like, no matter who your bias is in BTS, you love Jimin. Like, you can't not love Jim Jimin. He's kind of on the J-Hope level of just being a precious cinnamon roll. And he's another one of those members that's, like, shipped with other members a lot. Like, at least from what I've noticed, he seems to be one that's shipped with a lot of other members. The next member is V, whose real name is Kim Taehyung, and his 
birthday is December 30th, 1995. And he's also known as kind of being an alien and having a little bit of a 4D personality, which means, in simpler terms, that V is just really freaking weird. Like, you know you have that one friend who will, like, walk into a room, like, make some random screeching noise, and then just walk out? V is that friend, okay? He is just bizarre sometimes, and it's... It's really interesting. I think of the vocalists, he also has like the deepest voice. He kind of has a deeper gravelier voice. Um, he's like, he has kind of the main vocals in Boy in Love, like the chorus part that's kind of, you know, gravelly and deep. And yeah, he's just plain straight up weird. And finally, we have the youngest member, Jungkook. His full name is John Jungkook. And he is the magne of the group, he's the youngest, and his birthday is September 1st, 1997. He is also known as the Golden Magne, just because he is, like, insanely talented. Like, he's technically a vocalist in the group, but he can also dance, he can also rap, he's a really good artist. You know that one friend you have that you really hate just because they're really good at everything? That's Jungkook. And he, his... Stage name is actually his real name, but originally his stage name was going to be Seagull. And I kind of both love that and hate that at the same time. Like, could you imagine a group member with a name like Seagull? It's just, oh, it's ridiculous. He also has a thing for girl group dances. He's really good at those. And he's another one of those members that is, like, shipped a lot with the rest of the group. So that is it for the members of BTS and now we're going to move on to their discography. So far BTS has released six albums, seven if you count their special edition of School Love Affair, which I'm not, but they released two albums in 2013, Too Cool for School, which was their debut album, and their first album in the School Trilogy, and the singles on that album were No More Dream, and We Are Bulletproof Part 2. The second album they released that year was Oh Are You Late 2 and the title track of this album was No. Everybody say no! they also released two albums. The first one was School Love Affair, which is the second of their school trilogy, and the singles on this one were Boy in Love, and Just One Day, also known as Haruma. The second album they released that year is Dark and Wild, and the singles on this one are Danger. And War of Hormone, which is actually the first BTS music video that I ever saw. Yes, I'm a bad boy, so I like bad girl. In love, I'm a big day. Hello, 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 hello. Tell me what you want right now. Hello, 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 hello. I'ma give it to your girl right now. In 2015, they released The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Part 1 and 2. It was a two part album. The singles on the first album were I Need You. And then their second single was Cha. I think is Chada is like how you pronounce it. And it can mean like dope or sick or anything like that, basically. 
On the second part of their album, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 2, their title track was Run. Now that we're finished with their discography, some other little fun tidbits about BTS is they have their own YouTube channel called Bangtan TV where they upload these things called Bang Ten Bombs, and I think it's one of the reasons why they're so popular and have such a wide fandom is because they kind of basically vlog, and it's just random behind-the-scenes stuff, and while there is no subtitles on the Bang Ten Bombs themselves, um, there's a lot of really dedicated YouTube channels that sub them in whatever language you need them to be subbed in, and I think Bang Ten Bombs are also a really good way to get to know the members of the group if you're new to BTS, is I would just start watching those bombs because they're a whole lot of fun and they really give you some insight onto the personalities of the members. I will actually link a playlist down below that I made on my other channel that has a bunch of my personal favorite BTS videos, so some bombs and some interviews and some random dance covers and that sort of thing if you're interested and you want to get to know some more about BTS, those are just some of my personal favorite videos. Also, BTS was part of a variety show known as American Hustle Life, where the group went to LA to learn how to be true hip-hop artists, and while I personally haven't watched it, I've seen clips from it and I've heard it's really good and that it really is good for learning about BTS, and it's super cute and adorable because they're all trying to speak English and it's just, from the clips I've seen, it looks like it's pretty cool. Also, BTS, like, they love Big Bang. And, I mean, I can totally agree with that, because I love Big Bang, too. But they are, like, super huge fans of Big Bang, especially uh, Taeyong. So you'll see a lot of their videos where they're just jamming out to Big Bang. There was actually kind of a little controversy a while ago, because uh, after BTS won a music show... Taehyung started singing and mouthing along the words to Loser by Big Bang and a bunch of people were really mad about that because they thought he was like taunting people because you know the song is about being a loser but um to be honest if you know BTS there's no way that V would be trying to do that it's just it's a catchy song and they're super big fans of Big Bang and so yeah, I kind of thought that whole thing was a little ridiculous. But anyway, enough about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video a lot. I hope it helped you if you're just now entering the ARMY fandom. And also, I will be making more of these videos soon, so stay tuned for that. And just a reminder, I have the playlist down below of the awesomeness that is BTS. So if you want to check that out, I welcome you to do it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any more questions. Also be sure to subscribe because me and Katie make videos all the time and we would love your support. Anyway, me and Katie or me or just Katie will see you soon in another video. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and goodbye!